Hello everyone and welcome to today's reading. I hope that all is well. If you're new here, I am the Apocrypha and it is a pleasure to meet you. If you're returning, welcome back, so family. I love you guys. So let's see. I have some time for a quick little reading right now. Only messages from our spirit guides, our ancestors, from those who seek to help us. Removing all negative energy. Banishing all ill intentions. What message do you have for us today? This one singled out. It is the Six of Swords in Reverse. Um, I feel like someone is having an issue leaving behind some turbulent energies. Um, I'm feeling for someone this could be a family or another loved one. Like maybe you're in a household with someone who is kind of domineering and it's really hard to live with them, but it's all you got right now and you want to take care of them because they're family, but they're like really hard to work with. Or maybe this could be a work situation as well. Maybe you've been wanting to change jobs and you're tired of some shit going on at work or you're just tired of the environment right now. I feel like it's something for some of you. Maybe there's something that you like about your job, but it's not like cutting it. You don't really feel fulfilled. Like, yeah, you like maybe the products that you sell, or maybe you like your coworkers. For some of you, it's going to be issues with coworkers. Some of you like them. Some of you hate the products that you sell or that you have the things that you have to do. Some of you enjoy it. Um, but I just see like, there's this energy of not moving forward. There's something that is keeping you in some kind of turbulence, some kind of like um, difficult energy. If this is with family, you could try to create boundaries. And then I heard someone say, trust me, I fucking tried. Um, if you are given an offer by someone who you trust to, um, to live together, to move into an apartment, or, um, maybe your partner wants to move with you, but you are concerned for family, then what I'd recommend is have a conversation with everybody, if possible, um, get everyone involved but at the end of the day, it's your choice and it's your life. I'd recommend, if anything, what you can do, if you decide to move, you have the freedom to do what you need to do, what you want to do. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't go back and that doesn't mean you can't call your family or that doesn't mean that you can't help them when they need it. Um, but they have to respect your boundaries in, um, let's say you do move, um, and they need a lot of help with stuff, but they're the type to just do things, like, all of a sudden out of nowhere, then they're gonna have to respect your schedule. Be like, I wanna help you, I care about you, um, I have to do this, you know, I have to move, I have to make this move but I really genuinely want to help you. But, like, you have to help me help you. And then we have the Eight of Cups. <sighs> this is saying move. Change jobs. Move away from this person, place, or thing that you need to move from. And for some of you, I feel like this is because of negative energies that this person, this place or this job is kind of bringing to you. 
and for others of you i don't feel like that's necessarily entirely the case i feel like you just need something new you're feeling stuck and stagnant and this is this is a push for you to move forward this is a push for you to move forward and when you do you're gonna see that there's new blessings new opportunities new things um that you learn that you get to experience you know um I'm getting I'm getting a little message here about like birds leaving the nest. As humans perhaps our families may be kind of sad when we leave the nest. But it's necessary. I saw 555 I saw a crow, by the way. Hmm. I feel like you've been getting nudges to move forward. Um, messages from your spirit guides. Um, number synchronicities. I saw 616. But yet, you still feel like you're stuck you're not as stuck as you are making yourself out to be you have more opportunities around sorry <laughs> there are more opportunities around you but you have to look for them sometimes you have to find the opportunity you know what i'm saying if that's a new job, go to stores, go to places, ask if they're hiring, check online. Mostly everywhere does online now. If this is about moving, talk about it with the person that you're thinking about moving with. Unless you're able to move out on your own, then start looking. And you know what? Even if you're not ready to make the move absolutely now... You can start looking anyway to get an idea. Some apartments, for example, maybe they're full. But if you ask them, so when will you have vacancy? They might be like, you know what? Um, we have someone's lease is ending in the summer. And they're not going to, uh, they're moving after the summer. So we have an opening and you can be like, hey, you know what? If you have a waiting list, like, let me know, you know, make an effort to figure it out. It's understandable that you feel like you're stuck. You feel like you're stuck, but you're not. My nose keeps itching. I, I feel itchy right now. You feel more stuck than you really are. But the thing is, you're blocking yourself from blessings. Maybe this is a situation that is going to be way easier for you. Again, maybe you're afraid to look for a new job because the season has already ended. Places have already stopped hiring. But you don't know. Some places are hiring all the time. Maybe their seasonal staff left and maybe other staff also left. Maybe they have vacancy. Maybe they need a position to be filled. You never know unless you try. But again, like there are blessings waiting for you. But you have to take it. Sometimes you you really can't just expect like the door to open in front of you if you're just locked up in a room. What door is going to open? Your bedroom door that you have locked? I mean, how, how do you expect a door to open to you when you are locked up in your room? How do you expect to receive a blessing if you are not putting yourself in, in the energy of receiving that blessing? I see 1144. We have the Six of Cups in reverse, the Devil in reverse, 
and the Knight of Cups. Okay. So I am definitely seeing here for some of you, there is a lot of imbalanced energies here. Um, I don't know if this is, again, toxic situations with family, with co-workers, with a partner. There may not be recipro uh, re reciprocity in this workplace or with this partner or at home. Maybe you're the one who's like really doing everything. Or maybe you're not. It could go both ways. Like maybe there's just not a balance. Um, I see some people who are being taken advantage of in the workplace or at home. <clears throat> It could be uh, different as well, depending on what your situation is. I keep getting like itchy and like I keep feeling like there's a message behind it. And what I'm feeling is I see 1122 and then 1123 and 123 to me is like the full card. It's like taking the leap of faith taking those first steps some of you have this nagging feeling like something's wrong like something's not right like something's missing like there's more for you out there but like you can't put your finger on it and it just keeps nagging at you and nagging at you and it's it's like more and more overwhelming but here with the Knight of Cups, what I feel like this is saying is move towards what your heart and your intuition are telling you to do. And why do I say that? Because cups can symbolize emotions. But the thing is about water, because cups in tarot are associated with the element of water, um, water is an element of intuition as well. So what I'm seeing with this, the knight moves towards something. The knight has a purpose. The knight has a goal and is in the motion of doing it. And every knight does it at, a, at their own pace and in their own way. But every single knight is taking action on something. So what I see with this knight of cups is... This is telling you to take action on what it is that you feel drawn to do. Stop making excuses. If you really care, if you really want to change, then make a change. And if you're afraid that it will affect other people around you, then do your best to figure it out. But you can't keep yourself stuck or you shouldn't keep yourself stuck and, and in misery just for someone else who's going to take take you for granted. You love your family, then visit them. Message them. Talk to them on the phone. Put in effort. You want a new job? Get your application ready and take it with you when you go ask different places if they're hiring dress at least you know decent um or or more so that way if you meet the manager the hiring manager you're already giving a good impression you have your your application you're ready to go do some research about the place you know um ace of swords in reverse Excuse me. What I'm seeing with this is that I'm feeling itchy again. Don't get in your own head. You psych yourself out. Your intuition, your crown chakra, your third eye, you receive downloads, you receive the intuitive nudge 
to move forward, to do what it is that you have to do, to make a change. But the sword is this overthinking, this procrastination, this doubt, this fear, this anxiety, this whatever it is that is trumping over your intuition and your crown chakra. So don't overthink it, just do it. If you really care, just do it. All right. So I hope that this message um, brought some clarity and perspective into your situation. If you are interested in a private reading, I am available. Let me know. Um, you can let me know through Instagram. Um, what else? I am working on some wardrobe posts. I know some of you like uh, or want to see more fashion content from me. So I've been really trying to think about things to do with that as well. Hopefully it doesn't bother the rest of you who are just here for readings. Um, I don't plan on being the type of person to have, I saw 1616, multiple channels with different topics. Um, it's like, here I am, this is me. <laughs> Take it or not, that's fine. Um, but I'm really grateful to all of you who support me and who've been there for me and who are receiving from the messages. Again, that's why I did it in the first place. And for those of you who have been inspiring me to um, do more, put more out there. So yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. As always, information, disclaimers, and decks are in the description box. So yeah, don't mind me. I'm a mess today, but whatever. All right. Love you guys. Take care. And uh, stay tuned if you're interested in more readings and some fashion stuff. Some cool stuff coming soon. So, love you guys. Take care. Bye.